What up, guys? Disney Charles back at it again, and today we're talking about this guy and this guy. But before we continue with the video, don't forget, guys, hit that subscribe button, and at the end of the video, smash that like. Thank you for your support. All right, guys. So, like I like you saw at the beginning, I'm gonna talk to you guys. I'm gonna show you guys this new helmet that I just got for them. It's from the Mandalorian. It's the Incinerator Trooper. It's super cool. Uh, I already built it, so I don't have an unboxing video for it, and I'm putting together video because I just couldn't wait. But here it is. It's super cool. It's pretty much like it's it's life size. Yeah, I would say it's life size. But it's got this little button right here that pretty much allows you to speak. It's got a microphone right in the front, right here near the nose part. And the uh, speaker is back here, right in the back, okay? And you basically just, you can adjust it from here um, to fit your head height. Um, I have it like fully open because I got a big head. So like, and I can I can see, it's like right around there. So like, it's like, I, I wouldn't drive with it on, you know, just in case you want to drive with it on. But I put it on. There you go. Can you hear me? Can you hear the little speaker and everything? It's pretty cool. It sounds like it's like echoing my voice and almost making it like a radio kind of thing. Uh, I don't know if you can make it out on the audio, but I hope so. Uh, it's okay. It's, it's pretty comfortable. It's, I would definitely buy the fan kits. They have some fan kits online for this. Um, for different uh, Stormtrooper helmets as well. Um, but definitely, it's hard to breathe. Uh, it's not a lot of air in there. It's uh, I would definitely try to get some uh, fans going in there. Um, maybe you can fit, there's a fan kit maybe you can fit in there. Um, but it's very nice. Really, really cool. I like the little details that they have on it. It's like... Um, a little bit of the dirt and grime on it, scratched up paint. It's not like a, like he's he's been around the block, you know. This guy's been around the block and then some. Actually, you know, it's surprising he survived, you know, all that time to be in the Mandalorian. So, it's uh, he's pretty neat. I like it. It's my first helmet in my collection. I plan on buying several more. Uh, I know my wife is going, where the heck are we going to put this? But I'm like, I'll find a spot. I'll find a spot. Anyways, so that being said, uh, since I got this guy, I said, well, why not get this guy? <laughs> this guy's super cool looking. He's the actual incinerator trooper from The Mandalorian. It came out uh, last week or a couple weeks ago. Uh, he's, been in, he's been sitting on my shelf. And he's pretty cool looking here. Let me take him out. I'll show you guys what he looks like. Cool thing about it is that it has a little card in the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. It has a little card in the back. Let me take him out so you guys can see it a little better. You see that? It has a little like card with the Mandalorian like signet. Signia insignia or signet or whatever, however you say. Insignia. Uh, that's that guy. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't know, uh, when I got this one, um, the flame was kind of like off of it already, um, but it, it seems to just go back in, no problem. But here you go, here he is, in all his glory. If you guys can focus, focus on not my face, focus on, there you go. But you guys can see it, he's pretty neat, he's got the flame, he's got the, Tom, he's got the, the backpack with the gas and everything. Super cool. I love it, I love it. I can't wait. I think I wanna get uh, a Funko Pop per helmet that I get in my collection. And that'd be cool to just display them, you know, just like that with the helmet and uh, helmet and Funko Pop. <laughs> that would be cool. All right, so if you guys want to know where to get this, I think you can find them on several spots. I don't know how, I mean, uh, I haven't checked lately, but I think they might have been sold out. But I was able to get this guy at Best Buy. Thanks to my wife, she was finding, she was looking up some stuff and she saw it and she's like, 
it's on sale for like 73 bucks at Best Buy. I was like, I have some gift cards, let's do this. And I was able to get it uh, for under 80 bucks, which is good, which is really good. Uh, taxes included and everything. So uh, that was fun. The, the Funko Pop, uh, I believe was 10 bucks. Um, and for this little guy, okay. And um, I got him at GameStop. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I think they have they have a pretty pretty big collection of Funko Pops. So I mean I'm new to collecting Funko Pops. I have a very very tiny 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 collection. It's maybe like four or five, but it's starting. It's starting. We we love them. Reese loves them, and uh, we're gonna probably end up having to put up shelves just to collect those. Okay. So I don't know, but um, tell us what you thought about the video. I can show you guys more stuff. Uh, I got a bunch of other stuff. I think Reese is gonna be doing pretty soon a uh, BB-8 um, um, video. Uh, and tell us what else you guys wanna see. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for, you know, it's a quick little video. I just wanted to show you guys and show off my new helmet. It's super fun, super cool. I love it. So don't forget, guys, smash that like button. If you didn't like it, smash that like button. Cheers. I love it. Just like smash one thing. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification icon. Ring it ding ding. To get notified when we post new videos. Alright, big chubs. Out.